the process video. Today I am going to be using the One Canoe 2 Hazelwood collection for my layout. Right here is the main paper that I am going to be using. It is the honeycomb design that has those bees on it. I did show a freeze frame up front. I am going to trim off a half an inch from the top and one of the sides. And right here I'm going to go ahead and cut out all of the hexagons that have honeybees on them. I don't want the bees in this layout, but I do like the honeycomb of the pattern paper. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all those out with my craft knife. I do end up pulling out a piece of cardstock from a cardstock paper pad or cardstock pack I had gotten at Michael's. I believe it is a Craftsmith brand and I just pulled out the cream. Right here I just showed you Tim Holtz Distress Ink and Walnut Stain. I'm going to ink around that honeycomb paper and I'm also going to ink where the honeycombs that I had cut out so those holes will have kind of that walnut stain defining those as well and I'm going to ink around the cardstock that I pulled out to be the bottom layer so this right here is pretty much going to be my base now I do have four photos that I'm going to scrapbook I pulled out another piece of that same cardstock that I use for the background and that's what I'm going to map my photos in I have a four by six, two two by threes, and another photo that's kind of a weird size. It's almost a three by three, but I actually think it's more of a two and a half by three. I'm not really sure. I just ended up trimming it down quite a bit. So these pictures are pictures of a map my husband bought in December. He got this really large map. He had it framed, and it has like something on the bottom that I think it says Jim and Becky's adventures or something like that and we have it above our fireplace and he had started putting pins in it to all the places we traveled together now he is retired military so he has been all over <laughs> so if this was his map alone probably the whole thing would be filled but it's he only put the pins where we have been together so right here I'm going through some scrap papers I have and some embellishments to see what I might want to use. I am playing around with putting a piece of paper behind that honeycomb paper, but in the end, I just let that cardstock be the be be the background to the holes that I made by cutting out those bees. Now, I don't know if you saw that, but I did already pull out a cardstock piece that was that globe that says hello, it's that mint globe. And it was sitting over there on this side. I do end up using that. Yeah, here I am still playing with putting pattern paper behind that, and it's not going to work. None of the papers looked good with it. In fact, I really quite like that cream colored or that kind of a beigey color cardstock behind there. It looks really good. So I'm going to go ahead and put some ATG on the back of that honeycomb paper and go ahead and commit to it. I did keep all those cutouts of those little honeybees you see over on the right hand side of the screen. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with them if I end up doing anything with them ever. I just thought they were too cute to throw in the trash so I went ahead and kept those. Maybe I'll throw them in a journal. They'd probably be pretty cute. So I'm going to go ahead and try and figure out how I want my photos to be. And this is pretty much how I initially put them down with that globe. See that globe's kind of a mint and you wouldn't think mint would look that great with the beiges and browns, yellows and pinks of this background paper but I do use that and I do tie in more mint with some of the other embellishments that I use. I am gonna use my T-square my ruler to get my photos straightish. See, so initially I left this gap between those photos. I am going to go back and pull those up and just smush them all together. That third photo, or that uh, actually it's the fourth photo, I guess, right there, it's probably not most, it's probably not really a necessary photo. I just 
kept it in there because I thought it added a little something and it is going to stay in there. I do like having all four. I zoomed in on the main places we've been, which is places in the United States and then places in, or well, United States and a little Southern, like the Bahamas, Mexico, things like that. And then over in Europe. So those are the two photos that I actually blew up on over on the left hand side. So I'm going to go ahead and go through all the embellishments and figure out what I might want to use. I am kind of sticking to mostly mint colors and also a little bit of gold because I wanted to use that mint globe but there is no other mint so I figured I would make the embellishments mint to make them all kind of tie in. I do use both of those butterflies and in fact there is a third one I find somewhere. I think I fussy cut it out of a piece of paper that I use as well. Here I'm looking through the chipboard sheet seeing if there's anything I might want to use. I do pull out several stars. There is um, three mint stars and three gold foiled stars that were of the chipboard and I did pull those out and I ended up putting those on a piece of parchment paper to put on later. Right here I am showing the letters I'm going to use for my title. They're both Maggie Holmes. One is from the Bloom Collection and I think one just came out with Gather. So right here my title is down. It says put a pin in it and so are the stars that I previously mentioned. I don't know what happened with the video from me putting those stars down. But you can see I put two down at the bottom right, two at the top right, or two at the bottom left, two at the top right, and two at the bottom right. And that didn't seem like enough. I also put those butterflies down, which I already had two of them, I think, positioned there. I'm trying to find something to fill in that um, space between it and then that little tab that says right now, which was also part of the embellishments, which you did not see me put down, as well as that mint label you did not see me put down. The mint label came off the sticker sheet. What I ended up doing was pulling out a small star punch, and that's what I used to fill in that, that little gap right there. I am going to put a couple more of those stars down around the page as well. I just punched them out of a piece of the mint paper that was a part of this collection. So after I put those stars down, I am going to go ahead and pull out the sticker sheet that was a part of the Maggie Holmes Gather collection. And I am going to pull off some of the gold um, alphas and numbers. And I spell out Jan 2017 because that's when I took this picture. That's when he was putting in the pins. Now he did purchase this map and have it framed and put it up over the fireplace and everything in December but it did take him a minute to get to putting the pins in it. So that is when it happened. It was in January. I also pulled out some gold phrases that were from the Gather collection. I put down, this is sweet, and that one I'm getting ready to put down right there says wonderful. And it's because I wanted to tie in some more gold because up at the top there's that gold label that says right now. So I wanted two more gold kind of linear strips to go in the other two, the other two places. Right here I pulled out the Heidi Swap Color Shine in Gold and I am going to splatter that around the page. So after I get done with the Heidi Swap Color Shine, I don't do anything else to this layout. So thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.